What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 random AI only battle episode 14, maybe 13, maybe 15. Who knows at this point? <laughs> I think it's 14. No, nope, might be was yesterday 13. It doesn't matter. <laughs> We've skipped forward around 20, just under 20 turns. And as you see, we do have a big event. Rome has joined the war against India. Germany sort of held on to what they had and settled some more cities, but hasn't actually made any progress against the main Indian cities. But now Rome's joined in. Should change things. And then the other thing is Mongolia has pieced out, but they did lose a couple more. Or definitely at least one more city. But that's over now. And apart from that, I think everything else is the same. But here we go. If Rome can really go for this and have some success, I think they could catch the Huns still. I don't think it's impossible if they took all of India here, which is a big, big if. But if they were, that would definitely make things interesting. Look, they're not... It was a bit of a gap here, but they're not, like, miles apart. They're closer than, that, than anyone else is to them. So, it's very possible. See, military, Rome is second. India only has 275k, Rome has 969. So we definitely expect Rome to win. Tech-wise, Rome also has 6 tech advantage. So this could go very well for Rome. And then probably start with this city here, in the tundra, 25 population. We'll see how Rome does this turn. Yep, they begin the siege already. Very quick start. But of course, could help Germany out as well. Maybe Germany will get at least one city out of this. But yeah, I can see Rome grabbing a few of these. Is there any other major developments? No, I don't think so. Germany's got their Panzer units, which is kind of cool. I think they're the only Civ with a unique unit this late in the game that we've got. Yes, no one else. There's not many Civs with very late game units. Germ uh, the US has the plane. Japan has a plane. But they're not here. There's that lovely broken boat. We won't click on that. But yeah, there's been some more settling. Munster here. Rostock. Uh, Wies Baden, I feel like that wasn't there the whole time for Germany, but that's it. Nothing else in particular. There we go, we'll focus very much on this Roman invasion. Unless something else starts, of course, but the other continent has been very quiet. I think Rome is clearly in second place now. I, I think that's sort of developed over the last few turns. But, you know, since they won that war against Babylon... I think they've overtaken the Zulu in a lot of categories, and if they can have some progress here, as I said, they may even begin to rival the Huns. Uh, maybe, we, maybe we'll just give the winner of this game whoever wins an actual victory, whether that be science victory. Um, it probably won't be domination at this rate, but um, there is a time one in 70 turns, so I guess that would obviously mess that up. But if someone does win before then... Seems unlikely because of the... Okay, yeah, maybe not. Maybe it will just be whoever's on top at turn 500. But I guess that's okay too. We can do the shout-outs then. Everyone's happy, I think, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep going for as long as there's stuff happening. As we have been doing before. There is a plan for the next one. Sort of. It's not, not like a proper detailed plan. But we'll keep that secret for a bit longer. Till we're a bit nearer the time. Did Rome go... I, I feel like they went and did nothing. Which is okay. You know, you don't have to attack every turn. But there you go. Carl Rome, you got this. You can do this. Germany's turn. Are they... We can sort of have both on the screen, I guess. Is Germany... They are pushing in. They're finally beginning the siege here. This would be big. This is one of the biggest cities in the world. I don't know where it exactly is. It's number two. There you go. Only Cusco is bigger. So that'd be a pretty good addition for Germany. Of course, it won't be a top five city anymore if Germany takes it. But if they get it low, you never know. Maybe they could peace out and take it and then not fight anymore. Not sure they'd want to do that, but it's a choice they have. I believe there is some other weird wars against India that weren't as important. So I think Egypt joined and Mongolia as well just before Rome got involved. But of course, they're not going to contribute too much towards this um, just from their just from their location really it's going to be very difficult be very difficult for them to get involved but if they do then fair play good for them 
Rome's turn. They do have that northern city pretty surrounded, so we'll see if this is the turn. They don't have many planes, Rome. At least, they had loads earlier, so they must just not be in the area, but they... And their boats can't hit this one either. Where are your planes? They're down here. Okay, those are not planes. That's, that's one thing. I did not know those existed yet, but there we go. A lot of nukes, but yeah, most of their planes not moving in the right direction. Not sure what's going on there. Maybe they're planning to invade Egypt too. I don't know. We'll keep Egypt at bay. It's a bit strange. But there you go. They don't need them. <laughs> Next turn, they'll conquer this. Germany did peace out and did not take this city. Okay. Maybe a mistake for Germany. But yeah, Rome should get through here. Pretty comfortable. I mean, they did that without any of their planes or their nukes. So they should be able to grab their city pretty comfortably. And then we'll see what happens where they go next. Obviously, Delhi, the capital, will be quite tempting here. Looking pretty exposed. Germany denouncing India straight away. They want to go straight back in in 10 turns. You just know it. <laughs> They're not waiting around. They'll be building up again. The Inca next to complete the Manhattan Project. Obviously quite a few civs must have done it. Well, I knew some of them had done it. I didn't realize anyone had any nukes though. But there you go. We saw Rome had like five or six there. The Huns do not have many planes, but they have a couple of nukes there hidden in the middle few around on the carriers. Okay, never mind. They have quite a few. <laughs> but they've been very peaceful for a very long time. Maybe they're just being defensive at the moment. But we'll see. The more, the more Rome takes, the more they might have to think about doing something. Where are we looking? Victory progress. Let's see. Is anyone close? No one's close to diplomatic. Cultural, I can't tell because that's only me. I guess the info addicts would tell us. Attila still needs a lot more capitals. I mean, Germany has two. Rome has a few themselves. Egypt has a couple. So they'd have to do a lot. And there we go. The first big Indian city to fall. After Ge Germany didn't take any of the big ones. So Rome grabbing the first big one. And that sucks for India. But great for Rome. And maybe, just maybe, Mongolia can outlast another sieve if this keeps going. There's only four civs left, four cities left for India now, so they could be in trouble. Could be. But yeah, we'll see if Germany sort of stacks up and goes again, I guess. Their turns are still taking a while. It's always good. I reckon this is strategic. They've built railroads through their own cities, but not the one to Rome. <laughs> I feel like that might have been an intentional choice. They're still building one here. Up through the desert. Not really where you want to work. <laughs> Look at that. Because the workers have mixed in with the bazooka people. There's like workers with like brief... Wait, no, workers don't have briefcases. Why do bazookas... Why do they have briefcases? Oh no, it's not. It's okay. It's the shells. <laughs> I thought they were like workers. But they're different. Also, they're more mod they look like modern workers, but no. They're just more bazooka guys. <laughs> That's quite funny. <laughs> Rome completes the Apollo program. Here we go. Which city will they turn their attention to next? I'm guessing it'll be Delhi. India just has, yeah, a few great war bombers to protect themselves. Nothing more. Looks like Rome's killed off a few boats. And they're pushing in here. Tanks, infantry, all moving towards Delhi. It's not looking good for India at the moment. I'm surprised how calm the other th the other continent has been. There's not been a war on here for over a hundred turns, I think. They're just all very friendly with each other. They, if, they, if there was like a team war, this continent would probably win. I would imagine. I, I don't know. The Zulu are four. Maybe not actually. One, four, and six. Up against two, three, five, seven, and eight. I don't know. Maybe not. But the Huns certainly have still a big advantage in military manpower. Is Rome. Rome has overtaken them for population. It's worth noting. Um, anywhere else they've overtaken? 
happiness. Social policies, they're now above them, or joint with them. They have the most happiness. Techs, they are. How is Germany nine technologies ahead? What? Oh, because they have so much science and a lot less cities. I mean, only six less. Okay, I don't know how Germany's nearly that many techs ahead. Never mind. What are you doing, Germany? They must have got something going for them. Some sort of combo, maybe with their ideology picks or whatever. But yeah, they're, they're storming in front. It's weird because they don't actually have the units. to a, <laughs> of a 75 tech civ. But there you go. Like, There's no missile cruisers. There's no paratroopers. It's very... Maybe... The, I mean, it, I guess it leaves the door open for a science victory. Germany. I haven't tracked any spaceship parts, but they must be able to build a few of them if they have 75 techs. Okay, that makes things a little different. Let's look when this victory progress thing opens. Three players have started it. Okay, Germany's one of them, but no one has built a part yet. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. Germany, a nine tech lead is certainly enough to give them enough time to win the game that way. Um, that's interesting. And there we go, Delhi, the next city put under siege. I imagine Rome will get that next turn, maybe, or the one after. Depends how much sort of recovery India makes in this turn. But it's not looking good. India is trying to take this one off of Rome, which is a distraction, but it's you probably should be defending Delhi. I guess it's hard, right? I mean, it's kind of like they're doing it. They're gonna keep they're not gonna give up because they're an AI. But as in, like, if it was a human and you were playing as India right now, you'd probably be like, oh, well, we're, we're screwed here. <laughs> we're in a bit of trouble. Um, so I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know why they would not try and defend Delhi more. But there we go. Regardless, Rome will get it next turn, probably. And then it won't matter anyway, so hey-ho. <laughs> Oh, no, that's not important. But again, weird. Someone must be paying Mongolia to do this. <laughs> I don't know why they keep joining into random wars. They must be being paid. Like, there's no real reason for them to join that one. But there we go. They join in. Okay, that's interesting. Egypt versus Germany. I mean, they'll they'll kick them out again. It's another chance to do that, but that's that's about it. I don't. They might not even take this if we go off last time's approach. But it is interesting. Egypt. I don't, I don't know. I mean, Egypt can't really do anything else. They're not going to attack Rome, and they're not going to attack the Huns. So I guess it's fair enough to try again. But Germany, okay, there we go, never mind, that was what we were waiting for. Okay, I think we've got World War One in this continent, even though well, it's not really a world war because it's not the whole world, but maybe if one of the, the, the Zulu or Huns gets involved, but yeah, now we have a big one. So Rome is already doing great against India in the north, but maybe this is why they kept their nukes sort of down in this area. I'd say that, they don't have that many, oh, there they are. Yeah, okay, Rome and Egypt v Germany, here we go. And Rome versus India as well, so maybe India will end up teaming up with Germany. But this is going to be tough. Uh, Rome certainly fighting in a lot of places. Very um, brave of them, I guess, to declare this war. They don't have too many units down here. Hanover, oh, if this falls, okay, they, they should be okay, but that was close. They could have lost everything <laughs> if they'd have lost that. The Inca piece is out with Mongolia. Here we go. Turns are probably going to get very slow, but far more is going to be happening. So at least there's a balance. Egypt's turn first. We can actually go and see what everyone does. I assume this city would be the initial. Egypt does not have many units, to be honest. There's not much here. We'll see what they achieve. Nothing. <laughs> not even beginning the siege. Just a couple of bits of movement. They were not prepared for this. Maybe Rome asked them to... Paid them to help. Yeah, though, Egypt is up here. It looks like they were planning something else, maybe. <laughs> or maybe Mongolia or the Zulu, maybe. I don't know. But I don't know what they were doing, but they weren't ready for this. 
and Rome will now have their turn. Can they defend this? Probably not. They are going to lose this at some point, I think. It's not a disaster when you look at what they're probably going to end up with. And there you go, they get Delhi. They may even get to keep the other city if they're lucky. That infantry is very low. This one maybe will get it. We have Delhi 4, so it's not looking good for India. As Rome will continue to climb that scoreboard. They do lose a city, though. How are they looking? Is it going to load in? Or is it glitched? No, okay, there we go. Yep, there you go. They've taken the lead on score, which is not everything, but five points ahead now. How will Germany retaliate in their turn? They at least get Hanover? Yes, they will. Okay, so Rome did lose a city. I'm guessing they moved their nukes out of it, though. I didn't... Were they there, then? They must have moved them, right? You moved them. You moved them. Where'd you move them? They didn't move them. Where are they? I don't see them. I'm sure they're there somewhere. I feel like the AI wouldn't leave them there. But, <laughs> I think they did. So I think Rome just lost six nukes, which is a big victory early on for Germany. Strategic oh wait, are they in this? Ah, they're all down here. Okay, Germany's close to getting this one too. We'll see if they'll have to get moved again. And there's not really many places you can move them because there's the six airport, or well, there's the airport limit, unless Rome has um, airports. We'll see. Here we go, Egypt. Are you going to do anything this turn? Probably not. Look how many workers they have <laughs> down here. In pr just building trade depots everywhere. Is that like a strat? Because I, I never build them, but I see the AI builds them all the time, and they're on a higher difficulty than I could beat, so maybe maybe they know what's up. Maybe they're doing the right thing, and I'm not. Egypt did not make much progress. We'll see if Rome... Yeah, surely, I'm not going to look at anything else, but they do retake both the cities they lost last turn. They do remove all those nukes. Yes, that was a good idea. Bring them over here, Istanbul, Ankara, slightly safer cities. It's not a good start for Rome, has it, this war? But they did retake Batam here. We'll see if India gets it back again. I don't think they have any melee units, though. Although the anti-air gun, I think, could do it. Well, this is, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. It's definitely gonna shape the, um, the info addicts pretty heavily. As to who's doing who's doing well, Rome. We saw them climbing population. They've still got a way to go in some stats, but I think they're closing the gap. As Germany does take Hanover again, yeah. Rome must. If Rome can win this, you know, if they can kill off, even if they just trade blows with Germany and then take all of India, for example, then that's a huge gain. And if they could beat Germany as well after that, then yeah, they're going to be climbing, and the Huns will have to do something. If they want to win, we'll see. See how it goes for them. Egypt just had their turn, did they? No, there was me hoping. It does look like Rome will lose this city again. Five population, not the end of the world, as Attila enters the information era himself. They haven't used any of those nukes yet, Rome. <laughs> they might be thinking about it, but they haven't used any. Germany does have that tech advantage. Maybe it will come through for them. And their panzers, which are pretty advanced. India retakes Batam. Germany's turn now. They should probably get Hanover back, I guess. Or maybe they'll go after a different city. Those nukes have moved again from Ankara. Rome's really trying hard, aren't they, not to use them. But they might have to if it keeps going badly. Germany's turn. Taking an age. That's good. But they... they okay, they took the city in the far south this time. That removes some of the border gore. If they can keep this up, they're going to have three cities if they get Hanover and Ankara. 
as well. So good start for Germany. But that will be it for this episode. We'll keep it going into the next one. This is the biggest war ever. So uh, as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.